Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Avinash and in this video, I'm trying to explain how we can use a CloudWatch Unified Agent to monitor our uh, any of the application logs as well as uh, memory utilization of our uh, EC2 instance. As you are aware, by using CloudWatch, we can monitor only CPU utilization, network utilization and disk read and writes as well as some status checks but we cannot monitor memory utilization by using cloudwatch so now we are going to install a cloudwatch unified agent by following the steps so then uh, we are going to get all that um, you know metrics into our cloudwatch metrics all right let me quickly launch an ec2 instance now so launch instance Amazon Linux 2 AMI and uh, T2 Micro and we need to associate an IAM role. So let us quickly create an IAM role. Create new IAM role and uh, that IAM role must have a policy called CloudWatch Agent Server Policy. And um, click on Create Policy and I'm going to associate this policy to my EC2 instance. So selecting EC2, click on Next and here search for the required policy this is what the policy cloudwatch agent server policy click on next if you want to give any tags you can give and click on review so i'm going to call this as uh, cloudwatch agent role then click on create role all right one role got created now, while launching instance, I'm going to associate this role, CloudWatch agent role. Click on next. I'm going with eight gigs, add tags, and I'm going to call this as a new instance or um, click on next. And uh, here I'm going to create a new security group. I'm going to open port number 22, as well as I'm going to make this as a simple web server. So I'm going to install uh, uh, Apache Tomcat. So I'm going to access a website uh, uh, from my local network. So I, I'll make I'm making it available for everyone. So I'm giving 0, .0, .0, .0, .0 slash zero. So then um, review and launch. And I'm going to create a new key pair. All right. Then click on download key pair then large instance. So I'm going to move this key pair to my desktop. All right. So, so this instance is going to take a minute or two. So I'm going to get connected to this EC2 instance. So just observe, so far it contain only 213 metrics. And um, once we log into that instance, so we need to find that CloudWatch agent download link. Again, you really no need to remember this link. So you can just go here. Uh, you can open this URL. And here you can find some links based on your operating system. For example, if you are using Amazon Linux and Amazon Linux 2, you can just go here. Uh, so you can just pick this and you can download uh, into your uh, local machine. And uh, if you want to download from a specific region, you can mention that region here for CentOS, for Red Hat, for SUS Linux, Debian, Ubuntu, for Windows, Amazon Linux 2. So I'm going to choose this uh, and I'm going to download. Uh, so let me show you the server is in running state. So I'm going to get connected to this machine now by using Putty or um, Again, if you want to use Putty, you need to convert this uh, PEM file to uh, PPK file. So I'm going to use Putty Zen uh, load. And the file name is uh, nbdemo.pem. Save private key. All right, so we got that uh, required uh, PPK file uh, here. It is a PPK file. So let me open Putty and I'm giving uh, this instance public IP address here. Under connection, expand SSL, select authentication, 
and I'm going to browse uh, MV new keyboard. All right, I got connected to this machine and I'm navigating to EC2 iPhone. Uh, I'm logging as EC2 iPhone user. And uh, okay, it seems I have browsed wrong key. Sorry for that. Uh, so expand SSH authentication on desktop. I have uh, this PPK file. Click on open. All right, the default username is uh, EC2 iPhone user. Then I got connected to this machine. So I'm going to elevate my privileges to root. So I'm going to execute this uh, agent as a root user and uh, we are going to configure this CloudWatch agent there also I'm going to mention uh, root user is going to work on this. So instead of getting only memory utilization, we can even get our custom application logs to our uh, EC2 CloudWatch logs. So to demonstrate that, so I'm going to install HTTPD package. Yum, yeah, install HTTPD iPhone Y. Then I'm going to start the service. And I'm going to make it as a logon service. Oops. All right, so I'm clearing the screen. Now, let me quickly test this output. So here is my public IP address. When I go here, when I give, all right, we are getting this test page. So we are okay, we are good with this test page, uh, at least for this lab. So now, let's copy the download link and download that. So I'm going to use duplicate command and click on enter. There you can see the file got downloaded into our uh, local machine. So once that got downloaded, so you can uh, just install that agent by giving this command. So do RPM iPhone U. Uh, in our current path, we have downloaded this RPM file. So you can just copy this. And we are installing this. Click on enter. And uh, that is success. Again, you may get a doubt whether it is success or not. So rerun that command again. So if it is giving, okay, Amazon CloudWatch agent is already installed. Okay, we are good uh, with the installation part. Now, configure the CloudWatch agent with the help of uh, setup wizard. Again, in our um, Amazon um, EC2 Linux, we are going to get all HTTPD logs. So while configuring this, if you want to monitor um, so that application logs, you must specify that path. So you need to grab that uh, uh, logs location. So basically within our EC2 instance, these logs are going to be stored under var log, then httpd, if you give ls, there we are going to have a file called access log. So if you, if you cat uh, this, if you view these access logs, so these are the logs we got so far, and if we give uh, refresh, so this request also is going to be added into this, so we got one more extra one. So let us copy this path and let's um, keep it aside. So we are going to use this. So then uh, this is what the path is. All right, so now let's start configuring the CloudWatch agent here. To configure, so here we need to run this uh, wizard setup. So I'm going to clear the screen. Here, this click on enter immediately. It is going to ask us uh, uh, to give our inputs to configure the CloudWatch agent. So, on which operating system you are planning to use this agent? So, default is uh, one. So, I'm going to give one. That is a default choice. Click on enter. Trying to fetch the default region based on EC2 metadata. Are you using EC2? or on-premise host, so I'm using on EC2. So we can use this on our on-premise machines also. The mechanism is going to be same, but there you need to select on-premise. So which user are you planning to run the agent? So as we discussed, we are going to use this agent with the root. So do you want to turn on stats D daemon? No. And uh, collect D, I'm going to give no for these two. So do you want to monitor any host metrics? So I'm going to give one, like a CPU, memory, yes. So do you want to monitor CPU metrics per core? So basically this may cost us uh, some additional 
for CloudWatch agent. So I'm going to set no for this to save some cost. And do you want to add EC2 dimensions like a image ID, instance ID, auto scaling group? Um, uh, again, uh, if you want to add dimensions, give yes. I'm going to give yes. And um, would you like to collect all metrics at high resolution, uh, like uh, for every one second uh, or every 10 seconds you want to get? The default is 60 seconds. So you can give uh, the 60 seconds or if you want to get it for every 10 seconds, you can give that. Uh, so I'm going to give two. So then which default metric config do you want? So basically we have basic, standard, advanced, or none. So I'll go with the basic. So then here it is going to, based on our inputs, it is going to generate a simple JSON script. Uh, so you can just read that and if you satisfied, just give one and click on enter. So based on the inputs, it is going to. So do you have any existing CloudWatch log agent? So this is our first CloudWatch log agent. So I'm going to give two. Then do you want to monitor any log files? I'm going to, I, I would like to monitor this particular file, access logs. And before that, I'll show you under logs. So we do not have any log groups. So now let's, let's, uh, I want to monitor. So then I'm going to give one, click on enter. Log file path, where is that log file? So I have given that path, the one we copied, click on enter. So is a default choice? Yes. So then a default choice, it is going to uh, create a log stream with the instance ID, yes. Do you want to specify any additional log files to monitor? Okay, at moment I want to monitor only one, then I'm going to give two, that is no. So then do you want to store the config in SSM parameters? So no, just click on enter. Now the program exited. That means the configuration part is completed. So all you need to do is you just need to start the agent. So just copy the script and give this here click on enter and here you can see it is redirecting to slash bin system ctl restart again if you want to know the status so what you can do is uh, uh, so, uh, you can just copy this instead of restart you can uh, you can give a status command here hope that should work and there you can see it is saying it is active so I'm giving, I'm pointing to entire uh, particular path. That's like a so status of Amazon CloudWatch agent and it is uh, in running state. From uh, 23 seconds ago, it got started. You can just give uh, and there you can see 40 seconds ago. So that is uh, how exactly we can install CloudWatch uh, agent. Now let's go back to uh, CloudWatch events, uh, oh, sorry, CloudWatch metrics. So we should get uh, some metrics, new metrics uh, here. Uh, once that uh, CloudWatch we started uh, creating or pulling some logs, we should get that. So meanwhile, let's navigate to logs. So seems logs also not started. So we have, um, so we need to wait for some time. And meanwhile, I'm going to give a couple of refreshes here. So that is going to generate a couple of access logs. Okay, and there you can see we got a new option now. Earlier we got uh, only uh, some metrics now. Here you observe custom namespaces. These are AWS namespaces. And now we got custom namespaces and this is a CloudWatch agent, a CW agent. If you go there and it is going to show image ID, instance ID, and these are the metrics like uh, this is a disk, uh, used percentage and all. And not only that, you can just go here. This is a memory utilization on our uh, EC2 instance. So here you observe it is started here. And if you're taking last one hour, last three hours, you can just you can just go here and you can add this uh, metric to our dashboards also. So we are able to uh, see our uh, custom metrics of our uh, EC2 instance. Not only this, if you navigate to logs, there you can see access logs are coming. And um, as we 
configured this with the instance id while configuring we have given okay do you want to filter all the with the instance id so somewhere here we have given that see the log strip name is instance id so if you go here this is what our instance id is ending with 498 the same thing is here 498 and if you open whatever the logs we have under access logs the same thing you can find it here for example now approximately we have like a 10 logs so i'm going to generate five more logs or 10 more logs i'm just giving quick refreshes three four five six seven eight nine ten so when you go here when you give a refresh so in a minute or two in a, in a minute or two we are going to get all that see here now immediately we got all those and if you expand you can read all those from this particular for this instance and uh, we are getting all the requests so even if you go here if you observe like uh, my ip so this is what my public ip 202.65 so a couple of locks are coming from 20.65 this particular point of time and a get request has happened and uh, you know we are able to get uh, all apache related logs also into our cloudwatch logs option so that is how exactly you can monitor um, custom metrics or memory utilization of our ec2 instance as well as uh, sending logs to our uh, cloudwatch so that's it for uh, this video guys uh, Thank you.